Gaming laptops have come a long way in recent years. No longer is a massive jet engine or two required to cope with the heat output of mobile graphics chips. As such, notebooks have slimmed down considerably to offer desktop class graphics in an actually portable form factor. In this video, we'll present you with the top five gaming laptops on the market today. Regardless of whether you're looking for the budget option or for the best of the best, we have chosen one for each category and we have one for you. We made this list in no particular order. So if you're interested in what gaming laptop will work best for you, stay tuned. As always, all the links about the products mentioned in this video will be in the description below. So if you want to find the best prices and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check it out. Now let's get to the video. First on our list is the ASUS ROG Zephyrus GX501. The ASUS ROG Zephyrus is an entirely new brand of gaming notebook. It packs the most powerful laptop graphics hardware available, NVIDIA's GTX 1080, into a chassis that's almost half the size of similar machines. Mostly, that's due to being one of the first notebooks to feature NVIDIA's Max-Q design standard, which is laser-focused on slimming down gaming laptops with beefy GPUs. That does lead to some compromises, especially around battery life, but the Zephyrus is still a wonder to behold. With the lid shut, the Zephyrus features one of the most subtle and attractive designs we've seen from an ASUS gaming laptop. The only elements that really stand out are its polished metal lid and copper vents, but otherwise, it doesn't call attention to itself. It's slim and unassuming enough to fade into the background, but it packs a ton of power. Unlike most other laptops, ASUS pushed the Zephyrus keyboard and trackpad all the way to its front edge. That allowed the company to place all of its high-powered hardware toward the back of the case, in particular the CPU and GPU, so it all could be cooled at once. The Zephyrus's 15.6-inch 1080p screen doesn't seem particularly impressive at first, especially when other gaming laptops include 4K displays these days, but its 120Hz refresh rate and support for NVIDIA's G-Sync technology should be appealing to gamers since it allows for smooth play no matter what frame rate you're getting. Under the hood, our Zephyrus review unit featured an Intel Core i7-7700HQ processor running at 2.8 GHz, along with 16 GB of RAM. But of course, the star of the show is NVIDIA's GTX 1080 GPU. No matter how you look at it, the ASUS ROG Zephyrus is remarkable. It marks a new era for gaming laptops, one where you can expect a thin 5-pound notebook to pack as much power as an 8-10-pound to 10 pound machine from a few years ago. Next on the list is the Razer Blade Gaming Laptop. Razer seems to be in an enviable position in the gaming laptop scene. While its products are generally pricier than the competition as of late, they tend to absolutely eclipse Razer's more affordable rivals in key areas, namely build quality and longevity. The past few 14-inch blade models have put out consistently improved battery life, and this edition is no exception. Combine that with the chassis design that few, if any, competitors have been able to rival, and Razer's steep asking prices begin to bring worthy benefits. The 14-inch Razer Blade sports Intel's latest generation i7 processor, the quad-core Cabby Lake i7-7700HQ running at 2.8 GHz, and it can boost up to 3.8 GHz. Handling the graphics heavy lifting is an NVIDIA GTX 1060 graphics card with 6 GB of video RAM. It also comes with 16 GB DDR4 RAM, which is pretty standard for a laptop in this class. From a design standpoint, the Razer Blade is simply beautiful. A matte black milled aluminum chassis makes the accents on the laptop, the green USB ports and Razer logo on the lid really pop. And it's impressively thin too, especially consider it has a GTX 1060 inside. It wouldn't be a Razer product if it didn't have customizable lighting and naturally the blade is chroma enabled, so you can trick out the lighting scheme in all sorts of really cool ways using Razer's Synapse software. To summarize, there's certainly a lot to like about the Razer Blade, as it's a gorgeous, well-performing laptop. I love the thin chassis, its sharp display, and little things like its terrific keyboard and customizable lighting let you know it's top-of-the-line laptop. Unfortunately, this beautiful piece of hardware suffers from a few flaws, including not much storage, excessive fan noise when gaming, and the lack of an Ethernet port. These are all trade-offs required by its ultra-thin size, basically. But if your needs are split evenly between portability and gaming power, it's easily one of the best laptops available. Next on the list is the Alienware 17R4. 
If there's any gaming laptop as recognizable year to year as Razer Blade's line, it's probably Alienware's. Following a redesign a few years back, the humbly named Alienware 17 has stayed pretty much the same ever since, at least on the outside. Alienware's trademark angular design is on full display with this 17-inch gaming laptop. The gunmetal gray spaceship look hasn't changed much in the past few years. It's still aggressive and powerful with its angles and two-tone mix of gray and black, but it's also classy and refined with solid aluminum construction and soft-touch plastic. The display presents a tough choice for enthusiasts. The Alienware 17 comes in both 1440p and 4K models, but the 1440p version also boasts a 120Hz refresh rate and integrated G-Sync. The Alienware 17 R4 is a full-fledged desktop replacement that packs serious hardware beneath its trademark Alien head logo. Intel's Core i7-7700HQ that turbos up to 3.8 GHz is the standard Alienware 17 R4 processor, but adventurous enthusiasts can spend an extra $100 for the overclocking capable Core i7-7820HK. You can have almost any modern mobile graphics processor you want to. The complete NVIDIA mobile graphics lineup is available including the GeForce GTX 1050 Ti, 1060, 1070 and 1080. To summarize, if you're in the market to buy a 17-inch gaming laptop, the Alienware 17R4 is a fine catch. It can't compete in portability with NVIDIA's new Max-Q gaming laptops due to its still massive build, but for the same price, you're getting a faster, overclockable processor, a higher resolution screen, and one terabyte of additional storage space. Next on the list is Dell Inspiren 15 7000. Budget gaming laptops are defined by their shortcomings. It's all in their nature. These machines compromise some aspects in favor of others, so they provide decent gaming performance without crossing that perilous $1,000 threshold. The latest Dell Inspiren 15 7000 Gaming fits that bill perfectly. Featuring an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 graphics card with Max-Q design, an Intel Core i5-7300HQ processor, 8GB of RAM, and a 256GB SSD, the Inspiron 15 7000 Gaming, more commonly known as the 7000 Gaming, starts at just $900. Externally, the design is a continuation of the previous model. Dell sticks the sharp, angled edges, which give the Inspiron its characteristic look and feel. Though less gamer chic than most gaming laptops, it's different enough to stand apart from the plain old business laptops. The black on red design is understated enough that it doesn't stick out, but coupled with the red backlighting on the keyboard, there's enough attitude here that it still feels like a gaming laptop, even though it might not feel like a gamer laptop. Budget gaming laptops often fall short when it comes to display quality. It's an easy aspect to neglect in order to pack a more powerful GPU inside without pushing the price too high. The included Intel Core i5-7300HQ processor gets the job done in most everyday tasks. It's a holdover from the previous Inspiron model, so no surprises here. For everyday use, it's an admirable performer. It's never slowed down on us when we're web browsing, running Microsoft Office, or editing multiple spreadsheets at once. Looking at the numbers, it's pretty clear this processor is a humble workhorse. Budget gaming laptops are almost always a mixed bag. You get decent gaming performance for less than $1,000, but you typically end up paying for it in some other area, usually display quality. That's definitely the case here. The Inspiron 15 7000 Gaming is a powerful laptop capable of running games just as well as its much more expensive counterparts. To finish our list, we have the Razer Blade Pro Gaming Laptop. There's always been a distinction between gaming laptops and desktop replacement laptops. Both types of systems can drive a complete PC gaming experience, but the latter are often too bulky and too heavy to be considered portable. Now, the Razer Blade Pro is out to prove that desktop-like power in a thin and light package is possible. The laptop comes with a quad-core Intel Core i7 processor and NVIDIA GTX 1080 graphics, a 17-inch display, 4K, and 32GB of RAM standard, all while measuring only 0.88 inches thick. Razer's latest 17-inch Blade Pro is a superior gaming machine that can practically replace any desktop rig, and even in spite of the astronomical starting price of $3,699, we would pick this beautiful machine as our desktop replacement over all others. 
There's just something about Razer laptops that make the pulse quicken ever so slightly when you see it. Constructed from black CNC aluminum, the Blade Pro follows the Razer design dictates to a T, just on a bigger scale. The center of the laptop's lid is slightly recessed, creating a pair of subtle ridges that help accentuate the glimmering emerald three-headed snake emblem. Let's talk about the display. At 17.3 inches, it's huge for a laptop, but with a 4K display panel, every square inch of that real estate is used. At maximum brightness, the Blade Pro's display hits a contrast ratio of 900 to 1. Colors are sharp and vibrant, while shadows are deep and dark without losing any definition. This makes the Blade Pro's display killer for gaming. To summarize, the Razer Blade Pro is arguably the ultimate desktop replacement that you can carry around. The thinner frame, lighter weight, smaller power supply, and longer battery life all help to make this 17-inch machine something we would actually consider to be portable. From both a power and comfort perspective, we also felt right at home bringing this laptop anywhere and getting a desktop-like gaming experience. That would be all for this video. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. And if you did, please go ahead and give it a like. If you are new to the channel and you liked it, please consider to subscribe. We also do all kinds of videos like this for all kinds of different products, all aimed at providing you the selection of the best products, making your decision easier. If we missed a product that you think is missing in this list, or you would like for us to make a review of some other products, put it in the comments section below. As always, all the links about the products mentioned in this video will be in the description below. So if you want to find the best prices and more information that we might not have had the chance to mention in the video, be sure to check it out.